tomorrow. We gotta have a party. We'll get the cake that your daddy likes so much. And our chocolate chip. Sweetheart, can I talk to you for a minute? Well, we finally got what we wished for, didn't we? Daddy doesn't have to hide anymore. It's great, isn't it? It is. I'm very, very happy. Now we can all be a family again. That's right. But there's something we need to discuss. Things are going to be a little bit different now. What do you mean, different? Well, a lot's happened to all of us, and, and we've changed. There's no sense pretending we haven't. So? So, I was thinking, instead of Daddy coming here, we could find a new home in another town. You mean leave Pine Valley? Why? Well, Daddy's not in trouble anymore, but... That's right, isn't it, Derek? Yeah, that's, that's right. Amanda. I just wanted to tell you that I'm, I'm really sorry about what we put your family through. But um, we had to do our jobs. I, you understand that, right? I knew my daddy was innocent the whole time. So why did we have to leave? Because our names were in the paper and on TV every day. And some people will never look at us the same. And I thought it would be best if we could get a fresh start. But all my friends are here. You know what, Amanda, that's the best part about this. You get to keep all your old friends and you get a whole new batch of friends. Yeah, and you know who will be joining you at your new house? Not just your dad, but Tim, too. I guess that's great. Does our new town have a mall? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure that it does, honey. There's just one more thing. When you and Daddy and Tim settle into our new house, it's gonna have to be without me. What do you mean? Well, I have to go away for a little while. Just to, to get the help I need and a bit of rest. Are you sick, Mommy? My health is fine. I just... Uh, I just get a little sad sometimes, confused. And that's how I felt when Daddy went away. I know. I did, too. But it wasn't the first time for me. Is that why you went to jail last time? Yeah, it was. And I want to make sure that that never happens again. So I can be with my family all the time. I want that, too. I found this doctor who's really good, who's going to give me the help that I need. Don't Daddy and I help you? Of course you do, sweetie. You make me so happy. I, I need a doctor's help, too. How long will it take? I don't know, but I'll make it as quick as I can so I can get home to you. Will they keep you in the hospital? Yes. I'll be in a hospital. I can come visit, though, right? Of course. You see, the town I want us to move to is right near the hospital. So you and, and Trevor and Tim can come visit me all the time. <laughs> Take my hand. We'll go together. Emmy nominated One Life to Live. ABC Daytime. I miss you so much. Me too. <clears throat> yeah, I, um, gotta get back to the station. Yes, and I have a personal ad to compose for a certain Denver newspaper, so I'll see you a little later, okay? Well, I'm not ready to head back myself. I, could I catch a... Ride downtown with you? Sure. Uh, I'll be glad to give you a lift. That's okay. I can give Arlene a lift. Uh, Janet, I'm going to take off. I'm a little wrung out. 
You know, I feel like I lost one uncle, but I'm getting another one back. I'm so proud of you. Oh, and I'm so happy for you. And I'll bring boxes by tomorrow. And we'll start packing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you all so much for your help. I love you too, baby. Can't wait to see Daddy. Neither can I. It's gonna be just like he said. We're all gonna be a family again one day. Mommy? What, darling? I'm sorry for what I did. You know, stealing the necklace and messing up in school. It was like I just couldn't help myself. I understand. Just as long as you know what you did was wrong and it won't happen again. I'll try. Me too, baby. Me too. Mm -hmm. 